this place is my passion. To really create a 100% cycling hotel that is beautiful, that is inspiring and has everything that cyclists need. In many of the rooms we have classic frames, Chiostorino or Pinarello or Colnago, really art decor frames. So we've been open for one year and not one of our guests has lost one day of cycling. We've had many issues with mechanicals and falls sometimes and so on, but we always come to the rescue. I think the, the most important thing is, is to meet other cyclists, you know, because we're a 100% cycling hotel. We talk a lot here about everything to do with cycling. So who's going to win the Tour de France, or we talk about the Giro, or we talk about training. So I'm Jamie Anderson, the owner of the Flandrian Hotel, and I'm going to describe three very special bikes to you. The first one is this amazing Colnago C50, which was ridden by Matthew Heyman uh, as a young guy with a dream to win Paris-Roubaix. He didn't win it when he rode for Rubber Bank, but he did win it when he was riding for Green Edge, the Australian team. Um, so for me, this really demonstrates resilience, determination, and a never say fail uh, effort from Matthew Heyman. Another bike which is very special uh, in my collection is the one actually over here on the wall, because one of the things I love with my collection is to trace innovation in cycling. And this is a Cannondale Seiko bike ridden by a German professional called Jörg Ludwig and it was ridden at Paris-Roubaix. And you can see that amazing fork, the head shock fork for absorbing the shocks um, of Paris-Roubaix. A very rare bike because these bikes were built and ridden just for one race. That was Paris-Roubaix. The third bike I have in my collection, which I'd like to show you, which is very, very special, um, is, of course, we're here in Belgium, and although I'm Australian, I'm a huge fan uh, of Tom Bonin. And this is the Time VXRS limited edition world champion bike of Tom Bonin. You see his signature uh, on the top tube. And this was the bike created for Tom Bonin when he was riding for Quickstep. Uh, it was created by Time to commemorate his win in Madrid in 2006. So here I have a very, very special frame. It's the Peugeot Carbolite, which was actually the first carbon frame bicycle to win a stage in the Tour de France. So this was the model ridden by Robert Miller uh, to win a stage in 1983 uh, to make history. And not just history in terms of winning that stage, but also introducing really this amazing new technology to the world of cycling.